Welcome back to BNG Hockey, where it's always black and gold. I want to take full credit for this one. If you saw my post before free agency, I listed a group of targets I thought the Bruins would be interested in, and I put Kevin Shattenkirk on my list. So I would now consider myself an official NHL insider. Let's talk about it. The Bruins signed defenseman Kevin Shattenkirk to a one-year deal with a cap hit of just over a million per season. He's a 34-year-old, 6-foot right-shot defenseman, originally selected in the first round of the 2007 draft, 14th overall. Last season with the Anaheim Ducks, in 75 games, he had 4 goals, 23 assists for a total of 27 points, and was a minus 20. His entire NHL career, he's played in 891 games, scoring 97 goals, 363 assists, for a total of 460 points. Shattenkirk is best known for his seasons in St. Louis earlier on in his career. He would later go on to play for the Tampa Bay Lightning and become a Stanley Cup champion. This is a solid veteran who knows how to win and can very much still play. Last season with the Ducks, he was playing still over 20 minutes a game, even at age 34. Now, the Ducks are a really bad team, so somebody had to play, but the fact that he can still handle those minutes is impressive, and he was still playing some pretty effective hockey, even on a bad team. Now, I know the minus 20 makes it look like he can't play D, but you got to keep in mind that they are absolutely horrendous on their back end, and that's going to factor into his stats. I think he will fit perfectly into Monty's system. He has a fantastic first pass, can still skate, and he's definitely not afraid to let it rip from the point. And with all the big players we're going to have screening the goalie now, I think you could see him put up some solid numbers offensively. In fact, I wouldn't mind seeing him QB our first power play. He's always been a great power play quarterback. He'll at least be on our second power play. But Charlie McAvoy sometimes needs a breath every now and then. You can't have him just play in all situations all the time, so I wouldn't mind seeing a guy like Kevin Shattenkirk play a similar role like a Tory Krug, where he was just a power play specialist and can still help you out here and there on the PK and move up and down your right side. Having a right side of McAvoy, Carlo, and Shattenkirk is really solid. And one last thing to keep in mind, he has played with Hampus Lindholm in the past and speaks very highly of Lindholm, so I wouldn't mind seeing them as a D pair just to test things out, maybe even pushing Carlo down to more of a third pair role and a penalty kill specialist. As I said before, I saw this one coming. He's a guy who played college hockey in Boston, a guy the Bruins have always had interest in, and even though they got him a little later on in his career, and I much would have preferred him in his prime, he's still a very good player who can give you some solid production. And I think he's a huge upgrade over Connor Clifton. And I like that it's a one-year deal. Clifton got a three-year deal. I just don't love Cliffy hockey. I was never really a fan. And Shattenkirk can give you everything that Clifton gave you, probably even more, and if he doesn't give you that, at least he's done at the end of this season. To me, this is a really low risk, potentially extremely high reward signing for the Boston Bruins. So let me know your thoughts on Kevin Shattenkirk. Do you think he'll be able to replace Connor Clifton? Do you expect him to have another good season like he had last year with the Ducks? Do you think he'll be even better now that he's in Boston? Leave that down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big like, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Subscribe.